What's up, guys? Mom Vernon Kid here, back again. How's everybody doing? And while it is snowing outside right now, I am in New York, so it's kind of a northeastener coming through. Not too bad out there, but it's kind of cool because I was sent home from work. Uh, <laughs> um, so I am kind of doing this a little earlier. So I hope this. I hope you guys are happy about this. But I'm here to talk about, of course, give you my impression, my alphas and pre-alphas and my pack of the latest episode of Black Lightning. You guys seem to really enjoy me talking about Black Lightning. You guys said you wanted me to continue. I kind of taken a break from reviewing and doing the, you know, the superhero shows, but Black Lightning came through and I was just like, you know what? I preach and preach and preach how much I love the character and he's one of my favorite DC characters. I only thought it was fitting to do it. And every time I talk about it, um, I see the, I see what it gives people and people like it. So I'm grateful. Thank you as always. And like I said in my video, I love you, my pack. I love you, my pack slash subscribers. I love you guys. Um, that's from the bottom of my heart. I, and I'm not joking about that. Um, but anyway, this episode, once again, I, I, I'm, I get really confused with the episodes. Like, I can't remember the name, so I have to make sure I have it on my notes right here. So, I apologize. Uh, this is episode seven. We're going to talk about episode seven, which is called Equinox, uh, the Book of Fate. So, this episode left us with a lot of twists. Um... A lot of uh, the ending was a what the fuck? I'm sorry, it was a WTF moment. Um, but in retrospect, it was also the foundation of maybe what's to come for the future of the Pierce family. And uh, I don't want to spoil everything, I'm not going to spoil everything, but this episode pretty much picks up right where that last episode left off, where we where. Anissa now knows what her father does and her father is and kind of in a sense where she may have where she inherited her powers from uh we see that she heals really fast like her mom was looking at her and her back was all messed up at one point and you could just see it remark remarkably heal um and of course Lynn being who she is she doesn't want her daughter to be that way any mother out there can understand that that's not i'm not i'm not denying that i'm not saying that you know buck up lynn you know this no she's right you know the, the life of a hero is very dangerous and it's very lucrative and it's not just dangerous for you but it's also dangerous for your loved ones you know and and that's what she was trying to get through to anissa and then anissa came back really hard and it was just like almost like i remember when she i was like nissa no why'd you do that like really no baby girl chill like still your mother um but we're still seeing more that gamby's keeping jefferson in the dark and he's starting to suspect something's up um more importantly and it gets to that point where we're starting to see ramifications of the actions of oneself. Once again, keeping that flow of still, as much as Jefferson, he still wants to execute Tobias. He still wants that, you know, this is the man that murdered my father. I'm gonna, you know, I, that's just the way he's looking at it. Um, but there is more indication between Gamby and Lady Eve. I gotta say once again, um, Jill Scott as this character is very enticing. And like I said before, I've said it before in the past impression, like I love her music. She's got a beautiful voice, beautiful person, but it's just like, when you see her here, it's like baby girl is kind of vicious. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm, attracted to that or i, I want to say no stop you know it's just the way it is but she comes off so sophisticated but you can see deep down 
this guy, this woman has a, a heart that's black. She reminded me of, she reminds me of um, Madame Gao from the Daredevil and and uh, Defenders and Iron Fist. How sweet and innocent she looks, but she's, she's got a dark heart. That's how I kind of remind me of. Uh, but more importantly, it still focuses on that. And we're, st we're still seeing kind of this Batman S kind of Commissioner Gordon with Detective Henderson and and uh, Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson kind of explains to Nissa that she does he doesn't want it. He's kind of looking at it from a point like I don't want you doing this. But Anissa is still looking at it. we could do so much. She's so ready to do this. And she's like, she's so eager, like, Dad, train me, train me, help me so I can know how to, and it, I'll spoil this for you, it does come to the point where Lynn even admits it, like, look, train her, train her, like, she needs, train her, and I love the line between Anissa and, and, and Jefferson, where she says, where she says like I'll, I'll i'll be just like you i want to be just like and then the same i told once again guys how many times i've said this every time there's a sit down with jefferson and his kids it just brings me back right here it hits real home with how my father was and still is with me where he basically said i when he said i want you to be better than me i just like i'm like oh my god like that's just that's just really strong hitting words right there um however there's some consequences in this once again this show st really focuses on consequences of one's actions and there's there's two deaths in this in this episode i'm not going to spoil it but there look out for two deaths in this episode um one from different camps i should say it will technically there's three actually but yeah there's technically three deaths in this a lot of sites have been saying two but if you want to go two major two major deaths yes uh and then there's this then at the end there's this big what the fuck moment um and i'm not ruining that for you but this was another great episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, we are seeing the motions of Anissa becoming, truly becoming Thunder. And we all know that Gamby is actually working on a costume for her. So we do know, I, I think obviously we all knew when we saw that image of her, we all knew that it was Gamby who's going to make that costume. And the way he's describing it, it's legit. It makes it very legit. Like, even though Anissa can make her skin very bulletproof because of her powers, her density, she he even says, he even said, I'll, I'll spoil this too, is like he's even gonna make the the fiber of the her costume like cap lace cavalar. So even when you're not bulletproof, you're still bulletproof. I was like, that's dope. Um But it does bring up a lot of interesting because it's happening so fast for Anissa, but we all know. Jen's next. It it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter what when it happens, but it's gonna happen. And Lynn is even said like, if Anissa developed them, then Jen's probably not far behind. And that's gonna be really interesting to see when that happens. My guess is we she may we may see her manifest them maybe at the end of the season. Because I think there's only 13 episodes for the first season. But if it does happen, uh, it's going to be inter interesting. And uh, most likely, Jenna is going to join the party too. <laughs> but it, it ends kind of badly for um, Jefferson. And you think about it, it was kind of kind of good tactical advantages on the side of Tobias. But like I said, I'm not going to ruin those. But there are two major deaths and a what the fuck moment. Uh, but very good episode. Once again, I said that before, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, my impression of this episode. 
Um, so far, out of this first seven episodes, I don't, I can't really decide what is what's my favorite so far. Um, every episode has been really good. Have they all been perfect? No, but they've been perfectly balanced. That once again, you forget that this is a, supposed to be a superhero show, and that right there is what I take away from this. I tell you before, guys, it's. So a lot of stuff that Jefferson does, you know, as a father, it's just like, it hits me. It hits me very close, and I'm just like, I get into those ep those scenes. Um, but anyway, like I said before, guys, thank you for watching. This is my running kid saying peace, one love, uh, stay tuned, keep it real. Uh, for all my uh, fellow New Yorkers, um, stay warm, be safe out there. If don't travel if you don't need to. Um, and uh, anybody else? I'll take care.